Okay. Good evening, everyone. We'll discuss a graduate level business degree that will prepare you for advanced organizational leadership responsibilities, the Masters of Management. You all know as MIM also. Welcome to ULTV Student IDs. I'm Shafali Shirvasta, Marketing and Communication Manager at University Living. An MIM course offers topics like leadership management, change management, negotiations, team building, and project management. We are joined by Pragati Verma from University of Manchester, who's pursuing MIM over there right now. Welcome, Pragati. How are you? Hello, Shafali. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well as you're doing well too. Thank you so much, Pragati. And I hope you're enjoying your time over there at Manchester. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, it's a really, really pretty city. Uh, it has some iconic sites that you can visit, uh, like the Trafford Museum, the sorry, Trafford Stadium, the Etihad Stadium, and uh, it's just all the buildings are so beautiful here. The architecture is worth looking at. There's some beautiful chapels, and I'm really enjoying my time here. The university itself is great. Great. I was about to ask this. Now you have already initiated the topic. So how has been the journey so far at University of Manchester? I believe it's going to be around two, three, two months approx. You have been there? Uh, almost one and a half months has, has been. So two months quite soon. Uh, I arrived in Manchester uh, in early September and uh, university started a little late, but that gave me time to settle in here. Uh, the university is huge like anywhere you go in the city of manchester you'll be able to spot a building from university of manchester and it gives you pride and joy to be honest the libraries are amazing the facilities are accessible all through the week uh, the professors are really cooperative the subjects in itself are really enriching and i am really happy that i made the choice of coming here because um, as somebody who studied in India all my life, the international exposure is so, so refreshing and uh, you get to meet people from all localities. Uh, one of my friends right now is an Italian girl. We've uh, kind of grown close and, and it's really interesting how much uh, things are learned from her every day because of the difference in cultural context. Right, right. That's the whole idea about studying abroad is to, you know, to have a cross-culture uh, experience globalization that's what we call otherwise globalization is just a theoretical term over here so yeah that's what i think you're living over there so now talking about mim a lot of people have different different concepts about it now what is mim exactly and how what is the eligibility criteria for this one so mim starts for uh, stands for msc management it is a management course which covers uh, subjects like uh, basics in accounting, business strategy, marketing, entrepreneurship, and a lot of other uh, subjects. Uh, different colleges often offer different set of subjects. So uh, when you're applying, do definitely check that if they have the curriculum that matches your idea of MIM. Uh, like uh, as somebody who was really into uh, studying international uh, perspectives and global management, I love the curriculum here at uh, Manchester. For eligibility, uh, you do not essentially need experience while applying for MIM, but it, uh, it can help your application for sure. I uh, personally have worked in the industry for three years before I came here. And I think that has been really helpful for me because I am able to learn things to the better context of how it uh, matters in the industry. You would require a bachelor's degree for sure, and you need to have distinction in it. Um, other than that, uh, proficiency in English is pretty important. Uh, you, uh, If you have scored well in 12th, like uh, for me, I did not have to submit my IELTS score to get here because uh, I scored 95% in English while I was in class 12. But if you uh, do not have uh, something to show for, you can go for exams like IELTS or TOEFL, which are recognized by the university. Perfect. So this is the tip that Pragati just shared. Parents were not wrong completely. If you study nicely in your 10th and 12th, it will help you. So she didn't have to give an extra exam for IELTS or TOEFL over there. Her English marks in class 12th helped her over there. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. <laughs> Great. Now, a lot of students have this concept, and I don't think that's absolutely wrong. It is true, but there are many uh, resources available now. How did you fund your study abroad dream? So 
so uh, from the very start uh, for me I, i i come from a privileged home so my parents were willing to pay things to me but as somebody uh, who's always been self sustaining i from the very start was looking into scholarships and bank loans i managed to get the global future scholarship which covers a part of my fees but still i needed some funds so i took a bank loan from icici bank when taking a bank loan i think it is very crucial that you apply well in advance because to be honest uh, i had to delay my visa application a little bit because i did not get the papers from bank so that would be one of the tips i have for the students that if you're going for student loan please apply well in advance and i think that that's applicable for every aspect of any journey i'll say to be prepared in advance that's something that's a mantra we always talk about so yeah perfect yeah. now i would like to understand you mentioned that you know university of manchester has, is helping you a lot in different different ways how did it help you to grow as a person okay so um i think i have been associated with marketing in india for some time and i developed a certain niche and understanding of the industry so primarily the international exposure has been great you work in a completely different market with a diverse group of people and uh, that is certainly something i appreciate you get to know how companies work in china how they work in taiwan how they are working here in united kingdom you have students here from usa so you know you're able to have a, a global view of how things work we essentially read the same thing but how do we really apply it in businesses also uh, talking of other important skills i'm getting better at networking here uh, the career team is some is really really active and they make sure that uh, you uh, take up all the networking opportunities if you are enthusiastic and if you are somebody who would take the initiative i think you would find a lot of scope here to network with people and to learn as well how to network with people also i'm developing cultural sensitivity team building and management among the other important things perfect perfect again the practical exposure is more over there it, it's not just theory always the subject classes theoretical classes are you know uh, justified with the practical exposure that you guys are getting correct yeah correct great now there are multiple clubs at multiple uh, all the universities and these clubs help student in feeling not homesick and also helps with them they with their career choices with boost in you know uh, helping them in boosting any business plan that they have so what kind of clubs are available at the university and what kind of clubs you have joined so a uh, university of manchester has a lot of clubs there's something for everybody there are entrepreneurship clubs there are marketing clubs there are economics clubs the gangs clubs and there are clubs with interest like if you want to go hiking if you are somebody who loves cocktails if you love salsa so there's a there are societies for literally everything here honestly personally i am still exploring my options i am currently a part of a spoken word society which is something that helps me relax between the very overwhelming and stressful life of a student abroad but yes i would say join society that would help you network with people who matter and give you the skills you could use in your job ahead for example if you're someone who desire to work in marketing further take up a, that role in the society of your interest it would help you understand the challenges you face face while uh, using what you have learned in the classroom in real life so uh, you can see um, you know as you're uh, going through the classes and everything you will have a very good way to experiment and i think that is really helpful so definitely try that that fear factor goes away when you're talking and when you're doing all such activities going around and of course when this is of your interest correct yeah great great now you are living in a student accommodation it's a pbs yeah i'm pretty sure your many friends must be living in apartments how does the apartments and student accommodation differs and what do you think are the amenities available at the student accommodation which are very useful for you guys as a student yeah so uh, even before i uh, made this decision i had these doubts so i i'm pretty sure that a lot of students will have these doubts i'll tell you the real time scenario um the student accommodations have a lot of facilities 
you have on site maintenance there is somebody uh, like if you have any issues like my kitchen flooded that day it was my fault and uh, within a 10 minutes i was able to get somebody there to look at it and help me that kind of a way, uh, help is not available when you're living in an apartment or a house um, the second concern is security i was always uh, uh, very concerned uh, how secure it will be to be that far away from your home my accommodation is great because even before you get to my room you have to get through four locks to which i have the keys and everything so you know i know i'm in a very safe safe place and manchester to be honest it's not crime free there is a lot of crime here in fact uh, some of my friends who are living in a home they did get burgled it was not a big burglary but imagine that envision of your privacy so uh, for me at least i feel like picking a student home is very uh, comfortable it is very secure and you get a lot of perks like almost for the same rent i know uh, the one lucrative thing about apartments is usually that how cheap they are in uh, comparison to this but if you are with university living trust me you will get the best deals already so you don't need to worry about that but get a good uh, student accommodation for yourself at least for the first year so that you can get settled in the city and understand it better thank you so much for your kind words and of course uh, the point that you mentioned that you know there the, if somebody wants to meet you they have to go, get through the four locks it's not like that you are uh, in present in in a tower like a entangled princess where it's like that a lot of security is there and of course yeah. without your permission nobody is going to meet you and uh, it's actually alarming that there was a burglary in your friend's apartment yeah and i hope they are doing fine yeah they are doing fine but i think it's very scary knowing that somebody was in your house so yeah. it would keep me up for nights for sure for sure definitely yeah. that will that will now coming moving forward in our uh, conversation what is that advice that you want to suggest or what is that advice you want to give to students who are aspiring to study abroad whether uk australia any country else my first advice would be be mentally prepared it's going to be a very long and exhausting process i applied last uh, like in september of uh, 21 to come here uh, i applied in a lot of colleges and i was not able to hear back from most of them till february and march so it ta- it tests your patience and then you have to deal with positive and negative responses some of which wouldn't make sense to you so it's very important that you are mentally prepared for a very bumpy ride but as you do that have faith in yourself do not settle you will get something that's des- that you desire you will get something you deserve and uh, at the end of the day remember all that effort will be very very worth it when you're sitting in your dream university and and be ahead of the time be ahead of the curve i know people apply when they are in like june and all but the thing is the earliest you apply the better advantage you have if let's say uh, because of some reasons you're not able to get into your dream colleges you will still have a very good backup and you can apply there and even uh, if you uh, see it from the point of view from the people who are going to the admission committee they are always more lenient towards the earlier applications so it does make sense and then you will have plenty of visa to sort your uh, student loan for your visa uh, so yeah just plan ahead know what all you will be needing to do and connect with good agents i i think that a lot of students try to do it on their own because uh, agents usually charge a lot but the, india has a lot of services that students don't have to pay so figure it out find those services and take their help take all the help that you can get because it's long it's exhausting and you need it right so i'll say that you need to trust the process that you are going through the results going to be favorable just trust the process don't feel lonely or depressed during the process trust the process and of course we are revisiting the mantra that we are saying plan ahead of time early birds get get the good deal in across all the areas whether it's you know job opportunities scholarship colleges even accommodation guys a lot of good deals come in the early bird only so yeah definitely does make sense and pre- being prepared gives you advantage you are one step ahead you are in that driving seat you know what decision to take if you have got five uh, yes from five different university 
it's you who has to select it's not like that you you are applying in the end so then there is only one university left that agree to you so that should not be the case you guys should take the call for your better future correct yeah definitely completely agree with every word there great great okay now we're almost near our end of session but there are a couple of questions that are, i still have and i really want to cover now what makes university of manchester better than other universities in uk especially with respect to mim if i talk about so uh, definitely for mim uh, uh, the alliance manchester business school is one of the best schools in uk it is rank 4th uh, and 5th uh, regularly like i am not sure of the current ranking i'm sorry but yes uh, so and even in a global context it is a really well known university so for me i uh, coming here was never about settling in uk it was opening my global avenues and university of manchester would be one university that would help you open doors in all countries where you're going to go to so definitely take that risk for this university also something that would always help you is the qs rankings there there are a lot of rankings out there but qs is the most reliable one and university of manchester has always managed to rank really high there so that's amazing other than that i loved the curriculum they are offering for mim specifically uh, this is not the same curriculum that is offered by everyone one thing that shone shine out for me was the entrepreneurship uh, module because i am somebody who eventually sees myself working for myself so i think that would be a very interesting uh, subject to study and yes i loved the city i've looked at it and i fell in love uh, it's a it's the second biggest city in, in the world and you will have a lot of opportunities to network here like i understand that uh, i also had to pick between warwick business school and amps i don't want to be uh, biased here but the thing was that i helped me make my decision was that manchester was a bigger city which allowed me more uh, options to network and uh, work while i'm here which is something if you go to volunteering if you go to shadow there are big companies in manchester you can work with the best you want to work there are companies like estel lauder there is bng there is like all your big four are here just so just come <laughs> right so that's a big shout out for manchester you have given a big shout out for the university also now comes a very important question which any student or any person who's try who's willing to locate in uk or manchester if i talk about we like to know what is the cost of living in manchester and how do you plan your budgets over there so the cost of living here is currently quite high uh, uk is going through recession as we all know and there's economic crisis here so we are having a cost of living in housing crisis another reason why you should book your houses in advance because there is a housing crisis here people have to live in literally cities that are half an hour away from here and travel by train so the cost of living is crazy but it's more affordable as compared to london and some other cities but uh, still dramatically higher somebody who's moved here for india like the first day i was here i was just looking at prices and going oh my god i am dead <laughs> but yeah planning ahead would definitely help you i booked my accommodation early and thus managed to get a very good pricing for a very good apartment okay budgeting is crucial one thing that helps me save the most money is cooking at home and uh, meal prepping eating out in manchester is very expensive and to be honest there are not a lot of options for vegetarians and that, and the ones that suit an indian palate so carrying my lunch to college doesn't just save me money but also saves me from a long line of cold sandwiches that all they eat here like it's it's tiring uh, but yeah uh, other than that i know you would want to party as soon as you get here but make a budget figure it out if you can afford to party right now you don't have to party every weekend you can maybe go once a month or something like just have the numbers in front of you know you how much you're spending and meanwhile don't skimp out of healthy eating because of party i see that students doing that around me and the thing is your health is the only thing that's going to keep you safe like people are really getting crazy about the flu here everybody around me is sneezing having fever so it's very important that you eat good and you take care of yourself primarily nothing else matters right right and this is true and of course 
it's it's okay to go overboard sometime but you know you need to know when to stop and ultimately don't forget the idea why you went over there why you went to another country across the globe you know leaving your family behind you went there for a better future and that's what you guys need to work on to party of course is important i'm not denying that that's neither is denying point. that yeah but just, just keep like, a check yeah, just just keep a check on all these things so that's right so any idea like what is the number around if i talk about is it like 1000 pounds or uh for my monthly expenses see i you have to consider that i am pretty thrifty uh so my rent for the month is about uh 470 uh, pounds and uh, my groceries for a month are about uh, 200 pounds and uh, uh since i live pretty close to the university because again i booked well in advance <laughs> so i do not have to spend on my uh, travel but the bus pass here is 300 pounds for the year okay okay yeah well, thank you so much pragati now before we just bid her adieu for the day you know i really want you to share two cents of wisdom i know you have already given multiple advice throughout the show but anyhow like two cents of wisdom what should be the take for the viewers from this last or from the whole journey that you had so far i think one thing is be confident if you believe in yourself others will if you see the value in yourself your sop will reflect it your sop is the king trust me just have faith in yourself be confident don't be braggy don't feel like you are all there is there are some really good candidates you're going to meet here so yeah but even when you see other people don't question your worth you are a separate person you are on your own journey if your reasons to be here are right you will be here and you will be successful and i think that that's it don't try to compete with everybody it would drive you crazy if you look at your friends and you go like oh my god they are getting accepted why am i not getting accepted here the i know i've been there i've been, i've done that even after coming here it is difficult to not constantly compare yourself to others but don't just have, just be really confident and have faith in yourself that's going to help you through your whole journey great great thank you so much pragati so have faith in yourself guys don't compare you are on the right path on this note we'll be closing our session today thank you so much for joining us we hope you find it useful looking forward to seeing you guys next friday 5 pm stay tuned to our social media handles for more information thank you prakriti so much for joining us today yeah